Hey, this is Bino. So uh, today what I wanted to talk about and work a little bit on is the limb walking in the tree with a uh, stationary rope system. So last time we did all the setup and components so you need to just get up into the tree. So today it's just going to be a little bit of walking around and showing how it works. Um, just a real quick video on that. All right now, so I kind of want to see you walk around kind of so you can get the feeling of what it's like on this stationary rope. So the big the big difference is going to be that um, you know on the the other system you got to kind of like take weight off, yeah. and then you kind of moves the whole remote moves. But on this one you got a solid tie point, so like it's it's nice because it's all positive. Anytime you move, the length you move is that full length. The other way you only move just a piece of the length. You know. Yeah. What the good part is when you go ahead and start walking out. The good thing is when you come in like you got a good solid point that rope that's connected to the final tie-in up there it's kind of nice because you can hold on that and you can kind of use it like a limb you know the other way you have to let your weight off so it kind of makes you feel unsteady right yeah. well this one you're always going to have a solid tie-in point with that rope because it's stationary kind of cool Cool. So, so when you're ready, when you're gonna come in, it's kind of nice because all you need to do is grab the rope in front of you, and then you're gonna tend your line um, with that pulley. You know, you, I, I don't know. I I, always, I felt the difference. It's like more solid. Like you're not falling. Like you're not feeling like you're gonna fall backwards. All right. You can actually grab the rope in front of you when you're ready. Yeah, and lean back a little. Try not to slip out. There you go. Huh? Cool. There you go. See how that feels kind of like a solid point when you pull yourself up on that piece? Now pull underneath the lanyard, I mean the, the pulley, there you go. It kind of gives you more balance. It takes time getting used to it. You're right, it is. It is, a, it is definitely a skill. Okay, there you go. Now feel how that is? What's cool is you're kind of inching up, you're not having to move backwards a little. You it's know, more, like... It's more solid, but at the same time more stiff. And it's kind of scary. Cool. <laughs> yeah. It is pretty cool, isn't it? It just takes a little bit more uh, getting used to. Not effort, more uh, maybe finesse. I guess more uh, dur I mean, control. Yeah. Cool. All right, Noah. Why don't you walk out on another limb, and and just tell me what you're feeling like. What do you think this versus the MRS system there? So, um, it feels more direct, more control. Cool. You like the idea that any bit that you move, it's the full amount and not half the amount? Oh yeah, it's noticeable. <laughs> kind of cool, huh? Like what we're going to have to do later is uh, redirect. Is when we do that, you'll see a big difference on the way that kind of works. Yeah. Hey, right, why don't you come on in and then uh, see if you can get up this this crotch above you here? How do you like that lock and ascender? It's nice. Cool. It's nice. I don't have to worry about fidgeting with it. If they're popping out or anything. There you go. Pump your feet. There you go. Good.
Hey, go out on that one over there, dude. Yeah, real quick, just go that little tiny one. Kind of bushy, huh? <laughs> yeah, if you wanted, you could lanyard into the branch above you, and that could even be a good working spot, you know? Right here? The one actually over here closer. Grab the branch above your head and then slap as you walk, pull your slack as you walk. Okay, there you go. Kind of quick and easy, huh? Yeah. It's just a, just a, a lot of, uh, right it's a lot of more moving parts. <laughs> oh yeah, and that, you're kind yeah. of skinny so it moves around a lot. <laughs> oh, but you know what though, you don't need that connected when you're walking around. That piece right there, you could take your chest off. Oh yeah? Yeah. All right, why don't you try another limb, Noah? Come on up. And then when you get to maybe like that first crotch in front of you, then maybe you can go down to the, to the side toward the gully. There you go. There you are, move it. There. That was quick. Oops, I missed you. Cool. All right, good, unhook it. Now bring that, make sure your rope swings all the way around to your side. Like once you get on the other side, kind of slack it a little and bring it toward you. And if you're kind of ner nervous, you could always put your lanyard on and then slack it and then whip it around. You don't have to disconnect, just not that one, the one that's connected to you. See how it's kind of hanging on the branch there? There you go. Get it to come all the way around though. There you go. Yeah, that'll give you a higher pendulum. Cool. Now drop down. And see that branch that you touched over here? Yeah. Drop down between that one, those two. Can you do it? And then um, see if you can go all the way down to that big branch on the bottom there. And then just walk out toward the gully. There you go. Yeah, pull some of your other end, the the um the end below your pulley. Pull it through a little. Oh, and you could take your 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 chest off. Yeah, once you get where you're gonna start walking, it's better to have it disconnected because it just pulls on your shoulders. It's really not necessary. Only when you're gonna like do an upward. It's perfect. Pull you some of your end down below you. Give yourself a loop underneath you. That way you're not dragging yourself. There you go. That's probably enough. Yeah, drop down to that big branch. There you go. Yeah, just walk on out.
Good. Hey Noah, when you're coming up, why don't you just try grabbing the tree and then pumping your foot and see how that feels. Get close, grab the tree and pump. There you go, now pump your foot. Stand up, pump your foot, keep on pumping it. See how that goes, pump it. There you go. Yeah, now see if you can grab the two branches in front of you and stand up and keep on pumping it. Oops. <laughs> there you go. Pump it, stand up. You're like leaning back, don't lean back, lean forward. Toward, the, toward your branch. There you go, pump it, pump it, pump it. Huh? Pump your foot, dude, pump it. You gotta just pump it, there you go. See how it gets tight when you pump it? All right, no, come on down. Okay, so we just finished doing a limb walk with the SRS system and the rope wrench. Um, so things to know about it is that whatever you move, that's the full length. If you go a foot up, you move a foot up. Um, a little bit of a downside is that it's your full body weight on it, which really means that you can't really pull yourself up or you can, it's kind of difficult. You'd need things like an ascender. So um, with this, it's, it's really a nice system. Your rope is always um, positive. Um, now let's say the double rope system or the MRS system um, Your weight is half the amount and the length you pull is half the amount So you really you know if you use your body weight, whatever. It's just gonna be um, Not as efficient I guess as say the stationary rope system Alrighty, so hope you enjoy the video. Take care